Hello and welcome to day 12 of our 40 days of prayer. Today I'd like for us to share from uh, a longer passage than we have been sharing before and that is from the book of Psalm 121. Psalm 121, this um, eight verses that are so power packed and I believe uh, would do much to help us uh, on our 40 days of prayer. Um, the, the scripture simply says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Wow. Wow. How powerful is that? Um, what I, I gain from it, what encourages me about this scriptures, is that it simply begins with, I lift up my eyes to the hills. And, and often when we read these scriptures, we think that, um, that, that the David, David was uh, looking at the hill. But he asks himself, where does my help come from? It's more like it's not just about uh, looking at the hills. He is looking at the hills and contemplating where exactly his help comes from. He asks himself, he continues, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, the maker of heaven and earth. As he's looking at the hills, as he's looking at the horizons, he understands that the horizons are an indicator. They are just uh, but a portion of the creator, of the, the, the ability of the creator of heaven and earth. He, he looks at the horizon and the beauty of a horizon is that it allows you to see where almost heaven and earth meet, that, that sweet spot uh, where like um, the sun meets the, 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 the landscape, if you will. And he looks at, the, the psalmist looks over to the hills and has to ask himself, where does his help come from? And in watching the hills, in watching the horizon, he understands instantly that it's not just about looking up, it's about looking up and recognizing that what you see was put there, what you see was created by God. And that is the God, the God who could make this beautiful horizons, the God who could uh, make this beautiful things that we look at, this nature, this landscape. That is a God to whom we pray. That is the God who is our help. That is the God who is our help. And he says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. So he's looking for his help. So his eyes are fixed on his help, the creator of heaven and earth. And then he says, he will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. He will not let your foot slip. You see, the thing is, when your eyes are taken off of your journey, when your eyes are taken off of the road, when you're not watching where you are going, it's easy to slip. It's easy to fall. It's easy to lose way or to lose track of where you're going. It's easy to go in the wrong direction. But David reminds us, the psalmist reminds us that as long as you're watching, as long as you're looking for your help, as long as your eyes are fixed on where your help comes from, as long as your eyes are fixed on the creator of heaven and earth, that you do not have to worry about where your feet will step, that he will, he who watches over you, that in as much as you're watching the Lord, the Lord is watching over you. He is watching over me. He's watching over us. So we never have to worry about slipping or falling because he's got us. We like to say he's got our back, right? You have my back. I have your back. But in this instant, I'd like to say the Lord has your foot. And he knows exactly where you need to step, what is good for you and what is bad for you. He will not allow your foot to, to slip. He will not allow you to fall. He will not allow you to go in any direction that is not his, as long as your eyes are fixed on him, as long as you understand that he is indeed your help. He continues, indeed, he, he who watches over Israel, he who watches over us will neither sleep nor slumber. 
he will neither sleep nor slumber. He's not going to, you know, to slumber. He's not going to slouch. He's not going to uh, remove his eye off of you. He's not going to close his eye. He's not going to, uh, you know, um, fall asleep even in the slightest or or, or be dizzy or 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 um or even you know just you know how when you want to sleep i i forget the word right now but when you're dozing he will not doze he will neither doze nor sleep because he's got he god has his eye fixed on you fixed on me and then he says, the Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Your shade at your right hand. You see, the thing about a shade is that it protects you from the harm of the of the of the the sun's rays, right? A shade, a shade um, protects you from the 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 the, the brunt or the, the the heat, as it were, right? And, and the psalmist tells us that the Lord watches over us. And as he's watching over us, he is our shade. He protects us from the worst of it. He protects us from anything that would come against us. And on our right hand, the, he protects us even in the places where we think we have power. Because remember, for most people, their right hand is their dominant hand. Their right side is their dominant side. And the, the thing about your dominant side or your dominant hand is that you, that is a place where you think you have most strength. And so we don't pay attention, a lot of attention. We are not very keen in the spaces where we feel strong, but the Lord tells us that he will be our shade on our right hand, that he will protect us even in the spaces where we think we know what we're doing, when in actuality he needs to protect us. We need his protection. So the Lord says he will he'll be a shade at our right hand. The sun, the sun will not harm us by day. The things that we, we see, the things that we know, the things that we can determine are harmful for us, you know, we, we tend to protect ourselves from that. But the Lord says that there are even other things that we think that we know that can possibly harm us. But he promises us the sun will not harm us by day. When we know what we're looking for, when we see things coming, the Lord will still protect us. And nor will the moon by night, that even those things that we do not see coming, that even those things that we don't know are coming after us, the Lord will still protect us. He will still be our shade. He will still be our protector. He will still be the one that watches over us. And then it ends with saying, the Lord will keep us from all harm, as, as if to as if to encompass, to make sure that we understand that there's not, there's nothing, absolutely nothing that he is not protecting us from, absolutely nothing that he's not covering us from. The psalmist ends with this, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forever, that, we, that there's no end to this protection. There's no end to this protection. The only way this protection will end is if we refuse. And, and I would argue that even when we refuse, the Lord is still watching over us because I don't know about you, but there are times in my life when I have not exactly been in the best position with the Lord and yet he has protected me. And so it is encouraging that the Lord will watch over our comings and our goings both now and forevermore, that we never will be able to uh, stray away from the protection of the Lord. How encouraging is that? That the Lord will indeed protect us from all harm, all harm. Danger seen and unseen. What an encouraging word. What an encouraging word. What a wonderful God we serve. Let us pray. Kind and loving Father, we thank you that you are our help, that you protect us, that you watch over us, that you keep us from all harm, that you protect us even from ourselves, even from our arrogant selves, even in the spaces where we think that we know it all, Lord, somehow you have enough grace and mercy to or overlook our arrogance and still protect us, still watch over us. We thank you for that assurance. And we ask that in this moment, Lord, that you would open our eyes, 
that we may truly see where our help comes from, that we would understand that you are indeed our help and our fortress. Where would we be without you, Lord? I pray that you will be with the person that is listening to this. I pray that you will bless them abundantly. I pray that you will keep them, that you will protect them, O Lord, that you will shield them. And Lord, under your covering, may we be all that you have desired for us to be in every possible way. May we be the blessing, the answer to many prayers. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen.